All right, let's call, but we're back on record. Let's call C371483. That's going to be page four, Denzel Lee. Page five, Antonio Washington. Page six, Howard Cabot. Page seven, Raven Queen. And newly added page 13, Lamonte Butler. All right, for Mr. Lee, we have Mr. Hendricks. For uh, Mr. Washington, we have Mr. Green. There he is. For Mr. Cabot, we have Mr. Nichols. There he is, Mr. Nicholson. Uh, for Ms. Queen, we have Mr. Langford and Mr. Erickson, correct? Correct. There we go. It, Ms. Queen, sorry. And then for Mr. Butler, who's present at us, we do have Mr. Good All right. We are on for our status check trial readiness with a jury trial of um, July 8th. Where are we at? Uh, let's start with Mr. Hendrick. Judge, we're still doing some ongoing investigation. I know with regards to the autopsy, you know, there was recent, uh, I think the last uh, court hearing was the first when they had made the amended charges to the attempt to the open murder. So I know that. And then there's also some additional outside ongoing investigation that we're working on. Okay. Um, I did talk at least with the uh, uh, co-defense counsel regarding counsels collectively. Um, regarding the uh the autopsy and need to have somebody review those those records so it's going to be maybe a joint effort on an expert to review that that's yes that's what we've done that's what we've been talking about within the last week okay and at this point nobody's on board but that's the that's the idea we believe we've got somebody on board just okay. trying to do finalizing some stuff but again that's kind of where we're at at least understood um Stan, anything to add no, George. I think last time oh. you were here, you said that the offers were sort of being worked on. Is has that been done yet? I do think Mr. Port sent offers to everybody after the last court. Appeal. Is that all accurate? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Just That's checking. Correct. Not that you have to take. Uh, not that anybody has to take anything. I just want to make sure that that effort has been made. I think that was his job, and then mine was to do the amended um, two different indictments for purposes of. Oh yeah, how's that going? I filed them today. No, a while ago. Okay. On January 18th. Oh, okay. Then you're fine. And so you'll notice like I, uh, in it, I do the amended indictments for both kind of versions. And then I do an exhibit for jury purposes with different numbering so that the jury doesn't get confused. Okay, perfect. Thank you for doing that. I apologize that I hadn't seen it. All right. Um, then moving on to Mr. Green's pipe with Mr. Washington. Yes, any sir. updates or anything else you wanted to add? No, Your Honor, for the record, we do uh, adopt the comments and... Uh, representations by Mr. Herndon to discuss uh, these matters and discuss the uh, issues concerning uh, autopsy and ongoing discovery. And also, we also discuss with our client on Sunday morning. We adopt those comments and we're we're tracking, we're, we're on track for trial in July, subject to you know, further investigation and uh, discovery. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then as to Mr. Cabot, Mr. Nixon. We adopt the uh, same comments and we are on track for uh, trial on 7-8, and, eight. and uh, if there's some additional discovery that comes, certainly we would want time to review it, but uh, I believe as far as the discovery we have right now, we are I uh, assume you have, have it reviewed it. and ready to go. Okay. Uh, as to Mr. Ms., or sorry, as to Ms. Queen, Mr. Langford, and or Mr. Erickson. Your Honor, we can neither add to nor detract from the comments already <laughs> made by yeah, counsel. Like okay. And then uh, finally, regarding Mr. Butler's matter. Mr. Sure, so I confer with the uh, the prior representations made by counsel. I guess I'm the only one that's in a more unique of a position to, to being recently appointed to this case. So at this time, I'm not making a motion to continue. I'm going to do my best to catch up. I understand everybody, including the uh, defendants and attorneys, have been working on this for a while, trying to coordinate their calendars. Um, I'm also trying to climb that mountain that that is this case. And do you and you have all the discovery you believe? I believe I have all the discovery. My client is now out of custody. That's going to make things a little bit easier as far as communication goes. Okay. But I can't say uh, today that I, I would be ready in July. But I'm working towards that. Uh, in addition to the prior representations made by the other parties. All right. So then let's maybe do a status check in a, in 45 days on the uh, retention of that expert regarding the autopsy. Does that work? Is that enough time for everybody? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. And Judge, with regard to Mr. Butler. Do you want to do a status check in probably in like two weeks, given that I know Mr. Ports um, wanted to at least 
give Ms. Trail some of the background of the transcripts and put on for like a motion to see if, because last time you didn't rule on proof of evident presumption great, you just kind of held it as is, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing. Um, and then with regard to the detention, I think there was a line like, you know, it's set where it is uh, with regard to, you know, if they haven't gotten out, my intention was to detain. I don't know that you said that, that exact sure. magic phrase. Um, but I think uh, we requested the transcripts of the jabs. Mr. Ports has them. And then lastly, uh, in that motion, I think the third part would be, you know, whether or not the financial representations with regard to Mr. Butler were accurate, given that he's indigent yet poses a $500,000 bail. Um, it, it sounds like maybe this is something that needs to be a written motion. Yeah, just didn't And want... then if once you calendar it, the only date it could get is a Tuesday and we'll put it on as soon as possible because it's a bail address, it's addressing bail. That's fine. Okay. I just didn't want him to not be here, not know that, you know, something is filed, so that works. Okay. Make, I'm sure it'll be served on Mr. Triano. If there's any issues, we'll make sure that he's aware of the date as well. Um, what would be a 45 day date? It's April 23rd at 9 a.m. Okay, we'll see you guys back for that status. I'm here because Mr. Green's phone. 23rd of April. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. You got everything. And then Mr. Butler, just stay in touch with your um, attorney. There may be some additional yes. hearings that you need to attend. Okay. Your Honor, you. regarding that, I mean, I have a general idea based on the representation of state of the state where that's going. And it, it seems a bit convoluted on the issue, potentially, as well as me coming up this late. And then so they're going to be reviewing several transcripts from the prior hearings with your honor. Assuming the state files this and this is like set like in a week or so for the court allowed Mr. Butler to appear via or Zoom via that date, because I'd imagine we're going to need to set some sort of briefing schedule due to the complexity of the state's relief that they're asking for. Um, I just, just don't think stay in need... touch with Chambers. Okay. All the time. Thank you so much. Okay. Obviously, if you need more time, you can talk about that. Just reach out to my law firm. Okay. All right. Okay. That'll be it for this matter. Uh, I have filed an extension yeah. I don't know that I did. Let me check, though. I have not received it yet. Um... If it's something that requires a hearing, that'll get set for a hearing, but it's not filed yet. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. It might have been returned to you if it's something that should have gone through your attorney. Sometimes they'll do that. Well, they have returned it twice, but they kept saying the mail problem. So I don't know, like, should I bring it here next time? You could do that. Or um, if it's something that you want your, or that you need addressed, you can have your attorney put it on my calendar too. Okay. okay. Are you aware of this? Anything regarding this instruction? Your Honor, she just mentioned it to me this morning. I'm going to go see her. I'll, I'll talk to her about it next week. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.